Welcome to Taiji's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make roast beef donburi. So this roast beef donburi is probably not like typical Japanese food. Roast beef is definitely Western food, but roast beef itself is something we cook in Japanese homes and we kind of made it into Japanese variation with a sauce using soy sauce. So that might be interesting for you as well. In this video, I'm putting over rice, but you can eat it just as roast beef as it is with sauce, or you can put it on top of salad and you have a roast beef salad. It's also very delicious. And for this recipe, you don't need any special ingredients except for soy sauce. It does take a little bit of time, but it's definitely worth the time because it's so, so very delicious. And the process itself is not that difficult. So I really hope you give this a try yourself. Then let's get started. Here are the ingredients for roast beef donburi. So for this, I have a regular cut of roast beef meat. Then I have garlic, ginger, and for the steak, I'm gonna put use some salt and pepper. And then for the sauce, I have soy sauce, sugar, and also sake. This is rice wine. If you don't have this, you can just use some water or also white wine. But if you use white wine, then you should know that it'll be a little bit sour than it's supposed to be. And a little bit of frying oil. And then when you make the donburi, I have the Japanese sticky rice. An egg to put on the egg yolk at the end. If you don't like raw egg or if you don't feel safe eating raw egg, then you can skip this. And they also have wasabi as condiments. This is also optional. If you don't like it spicy, then you can also skip this. Then let's get into it. So as the first thing, we're gonna make the sauce. And for that, we're gonna grate the garlic and the ginger. So for the garlic, I'm gonna cut the bottom off like this. And I don't wanna cut it all the way and just leaving the bottom like this. And that'll help us peel off this easily. Then we're gonna grate this using a grater. Just like that. And then for the ginger, I'm gonna cut off the dry part. And then peel the skin off. And then we're gonna grate this the same way. So, just like that. Okay, then let's make the sauce. So in a small pot like this, I'm gonna put the ginger and the garlic that I just grated. Then here I'm gonna put two tablespoons of soy sauce. Four tablespoons of sake. And then two tablespoons of sugar. Then we're gonna turn the heat to medium. Then bring this to boil to dissolve the sugar, but also to get rid of the alcohol of the sake. So once this comes to a boil, this is finished. I'm gonna turn it off. Then with that, the sauce is finished. So I'm gonna put this to the side and let it cool down. So as the next thing, we're gonna prepare the beef. So on this, I'm gonna put some salt and pepper. Then this is ready to be seared on the frying pan. Then I'm gonna turn the heat to high and heat up the frying pan. So once it's heated, I'm gonna put some frying oil, just about a tablespoon. And then I'm gonna put the meat and sear the surface. So when you're doing this, it's very important that you don't cook all the way through. We just want to get the roast on the surface. So just like that is enough. And then on the side as well. Just about 30 seconds to a minute on each side. And don't forget the side as well. So that should be enough. So I'm gonna put this on a plate and turn it off. Then this meat and also the marinade sauce. I'm gonna put this in a Ziploc. Make sure this has gotten cooled down. And then in this sauce, I'm gonna put the meat. And don't forget to put in this juice. This is also really good juice. And then when you close this, you want to close this so that there's as little air as possible. In order to do that, you can put this in a water filled pot like this. And then as you push down in the water, all the air will come out. So then when you close this, with this you can have a very similar effect as a vacuum seal. And then doing like this, we'll make sure that the meat will be covered with the sauce the whole time. So as the next thing, we're gonna cook this roast beef in a low temperature. If you have a sous vide and it's great, set it to 75 degrees and then leave it for 30 minutes or so. But I don't have that and I would assume most people don't have that. So I'm gonna show you a technique how to cook from low temperature without the sous vide machine. Then a regular size pot like this. I'm gonna put four cups of water. I'm gonna turn the heat to high and bring this to boil. So once it got to the boil, I turn the heat off. 
and preferably take it out of the heat. So then with that, I have here four cups of boiling water, which means it's about 100 degrees. Just to check and put the thermometer in. Yep, just about 100 degrees. So in this, I'm gonna put one cup of cold tap water, which is usually about 10 to 15 degrees. So with a simple math, this should give you about 80 degrees Celsius. So as you see, it's about 80 degrees Celsius. Then in this, I'm gonna put this meat, which is also not that hot. So this will also bring down the temperature to about 75 or so, and that's what we want. Just like this, make sure the whole meat is under the water. Then we're gonna set the timer to 30 minutes. And then we're gonna cook like this in low heat for about 30 minutes. So then this is finished. It has cooled down a little bit, but not too much. It's still about 70 degrees or so. Then this is done for that. I'm gonna put it to the side and let it cool down and then put it in the fridge. Then you wanna leave it at least for five hours, preferably for overnight. So I'm gonna do that. So I left this in the fridge for overnight. I'm gonna first prepare and cook the rice before we do anything. So today I'm not gonna show you in very in detail. If you wanna know more about how to cook Japanese rice properly, please watch my first video on that. So the first thing you wanna do is rinse the rice. So you wanna rub the rice grain against each other and get rid of the starchy water. And then repeat this one more time. And then leave it like this for about a minute or so and then let the water drain. So the minute has passed, get rid of this water, and then put the rice back in the pot. And for one cup of rice, you wanna put just about one and one fifth of water. So just like that, we're gonna let this sit for at least half an hour in the summer and an hour in the winter and let the rice soak in the water. So an hour has passed, so as you can see the rice has soaked up the water and all white. I'm gonna put the lid on and turn the heat to high and bring this to boil. So once it's come to a boil, I'm gonna give it a little bit of mix, just a little bit. Then I'm gonna turn the heat to simmer and cook like this for 10 minutes. So 10 minutes has passed, then I'm gonna turn the heat off. Then I'm gonna leave it like this and let the rice steam on its own heat for another 10 minutes. So 10 minutes has passed, then this is finished. I'm gonna give it a little mix. Now let's prepare the rest of the ingredients. Now let's see how this looks. It smells so good. And this cut this up. Oh yeah, oh that looks so good. This looks perfect. So just about half like this is enough. And this is gonna be our sauce, but I wanna heat it up and make it a little bit more concentrated. So we're gonna do that. So in a small pot like this, I'm gonna put in all this sauce. Then I'm gonna turn the heat to medium and bring this to boil. So this has come to a boil. I'm gonna turn the heat to low and boil this for five minutes or so, make it more concentrated. So I've cooked this for about five minutes or so now. It's gotten a little bit thicker, so then this is ready. Okay then, let's put everything together. So as the first thing, I'm gonna separate the egg yolk and the egg white, because today I'm just gonna use egg yolk. And for that, I'm just gonna crack this in half like this, and then don't open it the whole way, and just let the egg white drip down like this. And if you go back and forth a couple times like this, then you're left with just the egg yolk. Then we're gonna put the half the rice in the bowl. Then on the rice, I'm gonna put a little of the sauce over it. Just a little bit like this. And then on that, I'm gonna put the roast beef over it. Just like that. And then I'm gonna make the top a little bit dead down like this. Then over this, I'm gonna put a little of the sauce over it. Just like that. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of sliced scallion over it. Then on the very top, I'm gonna put the egg yolk. Then this is finished for the roast beef done. Let's eat. Oh, this looks so delicious. Let's eat. Itadakimasu. 
So first I'm gonna eat it without the egg. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Oh, the soy sauce based sauce is just so amazing. It matches so perfectly with this beef. Then I'm gonna put a little wasabi on it. Itadakimasu. Mmm. All this wasabi gives really good punch to this flavor. So delicious. Then let's break up the egg. Itadakimasu. Mm. This creaminess of the egg yolk just adds another layer to the flavor and also makes it a little bit rounder, a little bit milder flavor. Also really great combination. And of course with the wasabi. Itadakimasu. Oh, this is so delicious. Oh, that was so delicious. So satisfying. Oh, that was so savory. So as you saw, making this roast beef donburi is not that difficult. It does take a little bit more time because you need to leave it in hot water and then also in the fridge. But this is so delicious. And once you make that roast beef, you can of course eat it as a roast beef or also you can put it over salad or something and then you can make roast beef salad, which is also really great. You can also use this sauce as dressing just by adding olive oil or sesame oil. So I really do hope you give this a try yourself. If you did enjoy this video, I'd love it if you get the like button for me. And if you have any feedbacks or questions or any requests, please feel free to write anything in the comments below. And if you want to see more of these videos, please subscribe. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.